Welcome back. On this week's episode, we're going to print these cable holder slash USB slots. So behind me here we have my desk and I have all sorts of cables and things to charge cameras and iPods and phones and all that kind of stuff. And I just kind of get all over the desk. So what I printed was this cable holder and it's got these slots in it where the cables can sit when they're not being used. And it also has some spots for USB sticks. I printed this at a 0.2 millimeter layer height with a 20% infill. So what I'm thinking is, this is how all the pieces fit in and it holds them. Looking at my computer, it should fit perfectly right there and then I can have all my cables coming in from the back and just hooked there so I don't have them kind of just sitting here on my desk and I can actually use the spot for some other things. Planning to attach this with some double-sided adhesive. Just rip it on there really good. I'm trying to just Pull the back off, not the actual adhesive itself. But it's not cooperating. Got all the backing off, those are two pieces. So I'm just gonna line this up kind of in the corner. The reason I did this red was it kind of matches the red theme of the rest of the computer, and hopefully soon I'll be doing uh, the rest of the Mario build. You can just take your cables. Pop them in there. And then like this, I've got my camera charging here. It's all charged up. So I'll unplug it. And just slide the cable in. I also have a spot for two USB type devices. This is just a, a wireless transmitter um, for like a mouse. But it'll fit in there. You can also do thumb drives and other things like that. Here's a close-up view. Got all the cables in there. I actually have room for two more if I wanted to, but they are kind of behind these two pieces. So I don't know how well it would work. You can also put a full-size thumb drive in there if you want to. I don't know how much I'd want that sticking out or not. It feels like you could just psh, break it off. As you guys saw, I printed two of these. I printed one in white. This one I'm actually going to place in this orientation instead of like the other ones like this. Um, here, down here is my desk that I do a lot of my 3D printing um, cleanup and things like that on. And I've got a couple things like a, a speaker that I plug stuff into. I'm just going to mount this to the wall up here with the same 
uh, double-sided tape. You want to make sure when you get a double-sided tape that you get something that won't peel paint and all that kind of stuff. Um, so now I can come in here and plug in anything that's going to be sitting on this uh, table. I've got a USB hub here that I occasionally charge some things off of, so that just will clean up this desk just that much more. All right, everybody, that's going to about do it for today's video. The link uh, to this model will be in the video description if you guys want to print it out yourself. Um, if you want it and you don't have a 3D printer, I'll put a link to our store. Uh, we'll have it up there if you guys want to get your hands on it. Um, or if you guys have any questions on having problems printing it, anything like that, let me know and I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you guys for watching. Um, the channel is really starting to grow lately, which has been cool. So if you're not already, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.